a couple, they're first generation, you're a child of immigrants. Did you have problems in America, growing up in America yep. with people? What, what kind of conflicts did you have? Well, where I felt like my skin, well, I wanted to not be dark. At first when I was like, maybe from birth to five, I was, I was unaware that I was dark skin and I was happy. And then I started to go outside and play. Yeah. Um, and I lived in a predominantly African American neighborhood. And Every day I was around the people. You're African girl, you're a movie scratch African girl, you're this, you're that, all these yeah. crazy things. Well, because of your name, too, really. Right? Well, they didn't even know my name. Like, yeah. don't, don't even, they just knew my parents were African, my parents spoke a different language, and that was it. Where's your family from, Ghana? Yeah, my family's from Ghana. Yeah. So. It was the same thing with Haitians. Like, it was just like, as a child, it was like, oh, you're Haitian. Like, oh, no. Yeah, you're dirty, you're this, you're that. It was just like, but wait. I never like, understood that. It's so even, like, with my brother, because my brother took us until we were in high school. Because I remember Cool. Haitians were like made fun of. Yeah, made it. I remember that. And I don't even understand where that came from. No, it was the opposite where I grew up. Even like the Haitian black. community was like was huge, and they were proud of their culture. Like, yeah. like they were like, you know, 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 like
no white kids in Oslo, but I met different, I met people from different backgrounds, and um, being Haitian was not okay. Um, and, and I think with the West Indian community, maybe it was a little, maybe Haitian kids were pushed to the side, pushed to the side but made fun of because of they spoke a, a different language, you know what I mean? And then it was sort of likened to, oh, well, you sound like those Africans, you got the food talk, you know what I mean? And it's like, okay, but as children, you don't understand these things. So I think maybe where some of that came from is just being a child and not know, not being exposed to to other people, but then also being a child, having to assimilate and having and realizing that okay, if I do this, if I bring in you know my jaw of rice or my curry and roti, I don't look like my friends who have a bologna sandwich. So and there was a point where I told my grandmother to stop packing me curry and roti and rice and peas and jerk chicken. I just wanted a sandwich. She would never say that now though, yeah. right? <laughs> from the south and just yeah. like Mecca's and I mean we have banging food but right. all my friends who have all this ethnic, ethnic food I yeah. love wait wait time it. out I ethnic you know what I mean <laughs> you know what I mean I'm being facetious when I say that yeah. but like yeah. you know like I love it I love going to my Jamaican friends houses and I have you know Dominican yeah. friends that like I didn't I have that I agree 100% yeah. and this goes back to a conversation I think we were having before we were saying that you know, when I was growing up, I never thought that I had a culture. Exactly. So it's like, you know, the Jamaicans, the Haitians. Yeah. Wow. Cool. What do you yeah. guys do? Like, like, that's cool. Like, I always thought it was cool. And I was fortunate enough to grow up in an area where it was very diverse. So, you know, children from other cultures, it was not that big of an issue. Like, no one really, yeah. you know, kids got made fun of. But, you know, kids are going to get made fun of no matter what the situation is. So I completely agree. Like, I am all about that. Like, like, I had I had a bologna sandwich and I'm like, but it's so good. So Can we get some curry up in there? Yeah. <laughs> Can we get some savars? Generation, I know I have this issue and I'm not sure if it's the same for everyone, but I'm afraid of losing it. So I'm just like, I'm first generation. What are my kids? My parents give me a hard time. It's like, yeah, 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 yeah. But this, to everyone else, I'm Jamaican, but to them, they're like, you're, 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 you are 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 you
on to give our family a good name because we were in America, because they had come here and sacrificed all of this to come here. Dan, you can't not slack. You can't not be a doctor, lawyer, etc., etc., etc. Because guess what? It's not just about us in America. We're here, but we have generations of family who are waiting for us. My grandmother still goes to the to the Western Union every single Saturday and sends money back to Guyana to her sister and her brother, and she takes care of everyone who's on it. She's retired. She sends money to people. She'll send a barrel. She'll do this. You know, she makes a pepper pot on Christmas and New Year's. We eat black eyed cook up. Like there are just certain things that she made sure were present in our household, so we knew that you're not like those little Yankees. Kids. And the so and Yankee was sort of like a, a, a the term. It was like you don't want to be like these American kids who don't have any behavior, who talk to their parents any kind of way, who don't walk into a room and say good evening to where you know. And and so there was that little bit of a disconnect. So while kids were making fun of me because I smelled like curry, I was making fun of them because they didn't know their time table. You know what I mean? Or or their parents were feeding them. Um, spaghetti from the pizza the can. Can. <laughs> from, from the can. <laughs> My grandmother was making me three yeah. full meals a day. Yeah. You know, so I used to that all the time. Like my father's, my father's oh. big thing was like, you know, I am not like these American fathers out there. Yeah. That was a big thing. Once he said that, you knew you had to straighten up. Like, oh, he about to get serious. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you knew. Like, especially with my older brother, because I guess you know, guys, you know, raising men. Yeah. My father used to always be like, you know, I am not your friend's American father. You know what I'm saying? So like, that that was what let you know, like, you go ahead and act crazy if you want to over there. You know what I'm saying? It's hard yeah. because we have that sense of pride, but at the same time, <laughs> Mecca's you know, over here like about to explode. Then, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah. there are certain things, and you know, I feel that vibe comes from me as well. Like, there's a line that needs to be drawn as well, yes. where we have to acknowledge. But like, I, I gotta say, part of it too is, you know, I grew up in the suburbs, and I, I also grew up in the city. But part of it was, we, I, my family experienced the most prejudice from what? black people. Right? Yeah, it's so just what it is. Yeah. They experienced, no and I had family members who came and who were legit confused that the torment they received were from black people. Yeah. And they were like, well, why? We're black. And, that's and they did not understand it. Like, so it was like, when I when I, when I I knew like my family was tormented on our street, it wasn't from white people. Like, we received it from, from black people. So it's like, you know, it's hard to then... Because you're different. It is, yeah. And I think you're for me, that's why I, it, it was very hard for me to like understand kind of like what racism was. Because I didn't really get it from anybody else. Exactly, but, I didn't receive it. You know, non Haitian. Like it was like all. So it was more African right. or Afro American. Yeah, yeah. Than and I truly, I can honestly say, like growing up, I really didn't receive that much. I wasn't really made. I wasn't really made fun of by white people. I wasn't made fun of my black ever. Yeah. I feel like we're really experiencing the prejudice amongst ourselves and our community more than anything else. Oh, Mecca. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I don't even know where to start, so I'll just. Just rewind it, and I'll say that the comments about, um, you know, your grandparents or whoever, or oh, I'm not, you know, feeding you the same things like the American parents, or you're not behaving like. Let us know, Mecca. Let us know what it was growing up in your household. I mean, you know, sidebar. I think the the prejudice that you've experienced obviously comes from ignorant people. Not every, yes. you know, African American acts like that. But I just take offense to comments like that because. I feel like black Americans are so demonized, we're so disrespected, and it's like when you as, you know, coming from Nigeria, you come from Guyana, wherever you come from, when you came to this country, you experienced rights that black Americans fought for. Yeah. So the civil rights movement and all that, my ancestors fought that. They marched, they got dogs, you know, biting them and holding, whatever you can think of, lynched, anything, all the horrors that you can think of. But when you come here and it's like, oh, those black Americans, well, guess what? If those black Americans didn't fight for their rights, you wouldn't have it either. Because guess what? A white person does not say, oh, you're Nigerian, so you're a little bit better than them. Oh, you're you're from Guyana, you're a little bit better than them. No, you're black. I'm black, I'm light-skinned. Guess what? They still see a black woman. They don't see, they're not like, oh, you're light. So, because that's like this ignorant American thing. Oh, if you're light-skinned, then, you know, the white man sees you as a little bit better. No, they don't. No, I agree with that, Mecca. I do, but at the same time, 
time, I think where my problem lies is where you say your answers ancestors from that, yeah, we your ancestors are the same are place. Exactly. Yeah. Our, our that's, 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 that's what bothers that's me because, because it's like, people don't exactly right. Like, it's well, not no, I'm going to have to. But you know, I agree with you. I don't know. At the end of the day, they fought the fight here. That's that's her point. I understand it, but the reason why your ancestors are here is because they sold us. Because you sold us. That's why we're here. We sold y'all. Thank you. And didn't come for us. We don't. We don't doubt that we're. But my thing. But that's what you don't. But there are plenty who do. There are plenty of African Americans that or Black Americans that will say, "I'm not African American." And that's the distinction. I know. I make a distinction. That say that. But you should, but there's so I'm many that will say there's so, and that's fine. But there, but you still can't deny the fact that I, you're here in this country because that ancestors you're okay from where where came from where we came from. No, 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 no. I, I, I get that. And that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that as it stands right now, how it went back in the day, I understand the whole story. I understand that I understand that I have African blood. Running through my face, I'm descended from Africans. Yeah, I un though. yeah, exactly. No, and, I, and yeah, well, yeah, of course. Yeah, like, I un I understand that, that, but I mean, I I consider myself a Black American. American. I have that someone else fought, and it's like the people we said fought, and the people in your past fought. It's like all the same people were trying to so don't think. But, I feel like you're saying our people fought, and then you got. I do to think we have the people. right. I do, I, I do. Yeah, I, I mean, I do think that we're a people. Yeah. Obviously. We come from Africa. We know that we're, that's that bloodline, but the culture is different. So I do think that we are a people. It is my people. Just the like black um, we have our exactly. culture. Yes, you are Nigerian. I'm culturally not denying anyone's culture. Yeah, but I just either. don't like. I just think that it should. I think my ancestors want it. Wait, so now it's united when you were just dogging them out. Exactly. And I